Hi, this is Zeus the Sparky over here. Okay, in today's, um, it's not a quick tutorial today, it's a lesson. Um, I was asking myself the question, what is a pulse? Um, after we did those videos on pulse rising and falling edge contacts and the pulse rising and falling edge coils. Um, yeah, we learned that once they energize, they release one pulse instead of just staying on energized. And I asked myself, what is this pulse? It was really fast, like when we used it to energize an output, we could not see it, like that one pulse wasn't like there for that long. Um, okay, so in this lesson, um, I got this pulse timer. As we know, once they en de-energize, they start counting and then like it energizes for that much. Okay, so that one second is what we're gonna... Okay, so one second, it's gonna go here onto this arithmetic um, addition um, instruction block. Um, in this time of recording, we haven't learned about these yet. And also the MOV. Basically, I've got a variable here. And every time this is energized, it's gonna add one to input and the output's gonna be input. Um, as confusing as that sounds. So input's gonna be added one and it's gonna become the new input. And the mov basically it's just a reset switch I made. It's gonna make the variable input back to zero. Okay, so let's see how many pulses we can get in one one second. Okay, so download this. Okay, so we're here. Okay, as we can say, input is equal to zero. Okay, so turn on the. Okay, so okay, so one second equals two five four. Okay, let's restart that. Okay, one second equals two four eight. Okay, so it's a bit varied. Okay, one second equals two four four. So it's around the two four mark. Two four six. Okay, two yeah, so it's around two forty. So we get two hundred and forty two pulses in one second. So as um as we've discussed before in the last tutorial videos, but I'll say it again. Um, the pulses are used in application starters such as encoders, conveyor belts, um, to, well, pulleys. Like some, if you want to like record the measurement of like distance, it's a really good application. So then you can use you can like tell the PLC program to stop after a certain amount of pulses, and um, it's more reliable than actually using sensors, sensors to sense when an item is somewhere on a conveyor belt um, so as sensors can break down okay and yeah okay it's used for hundreds of other things too okay this is Zeus Sparky if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe please like this video if you like it and um, yeah stay tuned guys okay thanks for watching I'll see you later